Hello, this is Chad Payne with Lens Software. In this video, we're going to discuss split session profiling using the profile indicator. And what this allows you to do is use a single instance of the profile indicator to plot both the day session and the overnight profile uh, on a single chart. As you can see in this chart, we've got the gold profile profiling the day session, and the blue profile profiles the overnight session. You can confirm that with these info boxes below or above each profile. You can see this one's a day session going from, I'm in the Eastern time zone, so 9.30 to 4.15, and the overnight going from 4.30 uh, p.m. to 9.30 a.m. Now I have my session. It's important to know what where your session begins, because um, there's a setting in the profile indicator that, that is based on that. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to hit Alt-A and bring up my instrument setup and show you that I'm using session 31 which ends at 4.15 p.m. which is actually a thousand and twenty minutes I'm sorry it ends at 4.30 p.m. Um, begins at 4.30 p.m. ends at 4.15 p.m. so it's important to know that from 4.30 p.m. the beginning of the overnight session until the start of the day session which is 9.30 a.m. that is a thousand and twenty minutes and then the remainder, uh, the day session is actually 405 minutes in duration. So it's important that you know those two things. Now, so 1,020 and 405 will be what uh, many of you will use. Some of you may have the, your session 31 or your ES session set to uh, start at 6 p.m. adjusted for your time zone. So 6 p.m. to 4.15 p.m. And if, if that's the case, you'll need to adjust to 9.30 for your overnight period, nine, 930 minutes, and 405 minutes for your day session. The same, the same for the day session. So let's look at the profile indicator settings, and here's where this is important. You'll choose a time per profile custom, and this period one is the overnight period. So that's 1,020 minutes. Maybe it may be 930 minutes. It may be different depending on if you're if you're plotting a different symbol which has a different session altogether. You'll have to compute those overnight minutes and day session minutes on your own. So the period one, which is here, is is should be the overnight minutes, and this should be the day session minutes. Uh, commonly, 1,020 and 405, or 930 and 405 if you're starting at that later start time for your session for your full session. And you'll choose. You'll, you'll you'll first have to choose three sessions here. Um, it does allow up to three. If if for instance, if I entered 200 here, then I would have three sessions. And you can see it would do a, a thousand twenty minutes, and then 200 minutes, and then the remaining 205 minutes will have its own session. So you can do three. Uh, split your your profiles up into three profiles per per session. Now what's nice about those settings, now I can change my chart back and forth between the day session, session 2, uh, and when it's set to session 2, it's just going to plot one profile per session, the day session profile, and I can change it back to session 31, and it'll, again, it'll give me a split profile. So it's nice because you can switch back and forth between sessions, and you'll still get what you expect from the profile indicator. There's an also an option here for second session only. If you check that, it's going to get rid of that overnight session. And so that way you could plot the day session profiles on, on a chart which is set to session 31 of the full session. So it, it won't profile the overnight. It'll just profile the day session only by checking session, second session only. So basically it's going to ignore this, this period of time and just plot a profile for this period. You can also take this in the other direction and plot just just the overnight profile by entering a value of z zero minutes for instead of 405, change that to zero, so 1,020 and zero, and you apply that, and now you you'll plot just the overnight session. And now, if you wanted to extend the value area and point of control in of the overnight session into the day session and of the day session into the overnight session you can choose this previous checkbox and I've chosen some some lighter colors just so I can tell the difference and now you can see the the uh, day session value area high point of control 
value area low extended into the overnight period and the same for the overnight into the day session period. Now at the top right where you specify the colors for your profile, when you choose three sessions you'll get two colors. We're actually doing two sessions so you have two colors and the first color is your your first session color so that'd be the overnight color and then the second color is the day session color so you can you can customize these to whatever you you prefer. Uh, that way you can quickly tell the difference between the day session and overnight session based on the color of the color of the profile. Now these these info boxes I've added you can uh, those are in the preferences you have to scroll down you'll see the info box here and I've chosen all but you can customize this any way you want. Uh, maybe I just want to put the begin date and the end date I would do B and E and you can see what each letter stands for here and I apply that and you can also toggle this on and off by simply hitting the plus key the shift equal key or the plus key will toggle those on and off so you can you can take a look at it for a moment then hide it again with the plus key so I hope this clears up any questions you may have had about split split session profiling in InvestorRT and if you have any questions please email support at lensoft.com thank you <laughs>